I'm in beautiful Northumberland and I've come to take a photo of Bamborough Castle and I've got up at the crack of dawn and I'm here at the early hours of the morning to try to get a sunrise of this amazing building. Northumberland is one of England's hidden gems. England's got so many great places for photography. You've got the lakes, the dales, the moors, the broad southwest and Northumberland is just another one of the amazing locations you can come to take photos the landscape the buildings it's got so many castles that were erected just to try to stop the marauding scots from coming into england and they're just fantastic dawn is broken and the sun's just coming up and bambra castle looks spectacular the lights are on although because the, the light in the sky is getting brighter you can't quite see the light so well but it is an amazing view. The lovely red sky in the distance is stunning. I'm going to use the Canon 400D for these shots really because I'm using the Olympus camera that I often use as my video camera. But I also want to show you that you don't really need the best gear in the world. You don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on a camera. Uh, and, and use that because you can still get life out of these old cameras. So if you're one of those people that use your phone for photography and those of you who have got iPhones and the latest iPhones and you've got a magnificent camera but if you're one of those people that use their phone for photography and you're enjoying photography and you're getting lots of so engagement back from Instagram from posting your pictures and you're thinking about upgrading to a camera then as I've said in the past uh, one of these sort of older DSLRs this is 15 years old with a 10 megapixel sensor I'm going to show you that you can still get some amazing pictures out of one of these cameras and uh, the kit lens so I'm going to take a few shots with this and I'm going to use my old sort of store-bought tripod just to prove that you don't need lots of expensive gear to take the great great shots. For my first image I'm using um, the line of these, these these rocks up to the castle and I'm going f6.3 uh, half a second and ISO 200. I've also found this puddle, I'm going to try and get a reflection of the castle in this puddle which I think is going to be a really nice shot. The sky is still a beautiful orange so hopefully the sky will stay orange for a bit longer yet. The Canon 400D has got a 12 second timer and I can't be bothered to wait that long so I'm just pressing the button and hoping I don't jerk the camera much. I'm on sand which is always a challenge when it comes to camera stabilisation on the tripod but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Despite not that many people in England being aware of Bamba Castle, it has been here since the 6th century. There was an original castle on this site some 14-1500 years ago and Bambra village itself was voted the best seaside town in England in 2021 so as you can see it is a pretty spectacular and lovely place and it's not well known in England so you can ask most people that are based in London have they heard of Bambra and I, I, I guess the majority of them won't even know where it is it's just uh, one of those lovely hidden gems that England has that, that not that many people know about. The reason that Bamber is not terribly familiar with many people in England because only about 20 miles behind me there's the border with Scotland so we're not very far we're in the very north of England we're just 20 miles away from Scotland. Before I lose this beautiful orange sky I best take some pictures and I'm going to take some pictures with uh, the, the water that's still on the sand giving a nice reflection of the castle and trying to get some of that orange sky in using the Canon 400D. I've decided because I want to exposure blend some of the uh, images so I want to try and get some detail out in the castle I am using the 12 second timer so I'm going to uh, take three shots one exposed correctly one underexposed and then one overexposed and I'm going to blend those three pictures together to give a nice balanced exposure. For this image once again I'm blending three different exposures and I'm, there's, um, there's a, a line of water in the rock pools I'm going to use that as my leading line up towards the castle and then obviously beyond and to the nice orange sky in the background. 
you won't be surprised to hear that Bamburgh Castle behind me has been used as a film set in lots of different films and it's also appeared in the series of Downton Abbey but today it's mainly a tourist attraction and I'll be going into the castle later at some point today uh, yeah it's a tourist attraction and it's also a museum it's a place you can visit and enjoy and take photos it's just a wonderful place to be I've come up to the sand dunes to try to get a picture of the, the light on the grass but I'm not sure if I've done that very well but I've taken a picture of the sunrise from above the sand and above the sea level in the sand dunes. I hope you've enjoyed this short video at Bamburgh and my photos of the sunrise at Bamburgh Castle. If you have enjoyed it, I'd be really pleased if you would give the video a like. It really helps to get the message out and spread the word about my, the videos I'm doing. And if you like the videos that I've posted in the past, then I'd be really happy if you'd subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic. Once again, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.